Hi there, and welcome to our latest feature focus video, this time on our new Insights dashboard. If you haven't already watched our video on our results dashboard, I'd really advise you go there first, as a lot of what you learn there will help you to get your head around Insights. So we're going to launch into the platform. And what it's really worth noting is that before you can access results and insights, you need to connect your ad account. So we're going to go to settings and we're going to go to integrations. Then we have the option to add ad accounts using the login process for each of those channels. If you don't have access to those media accounts, you need to get your administrator into Pencil to connect those up for you. We come to the insights page and we have two main tabs here, tags and creatives. And I'm actually going to start with creatives. This looks and feels very similar to the results dashboard. And it's worth noting straight away that we can sync this data at any point. I am going to leave it well alone now because I'm using a set of dummy data just so we don't show you any real client data. We can filter by channel. We can filter by ad account, by campaign, and by ad set. We can set date filters. So I'm currently set to a custom period, but we have some default recent periods built in. And we're drawing in a huge range of data. So this is every data point that each channel's API will allow us. So you may well want to use your view settings to filter down to specific metrics as required. That would then just give you a little bit more ease around how you filter. We've got tags. These ones are auto-generated, but what we can also do is we can select any one of our ads and we can manually tag with our add tags button in the top right corner. This may be very helpful for you, particularly if you want to do things like running A-B testing through Pencil and setting up a pair of comparison groups. Our tags option allows you to view trends a bit more easily. So this is all filterable in exactly the same way as the Insights page, and we can sync again. We can also change those view settings in the same way. The new thing here is to be able to filter by tags. And we have a number of different tag types available. So these are auto-generated by Pencil based on the ads in your channel. We have image tags, which show you content in the images in your ads, video tags, labeling the video content in your ads, text outside creative, which is based on the captions. And then we have tags based on Google and YouTube's ABCD framework, and we have false and true values for each of these. So we can see, for example, that we've got, yeah, the same in all of them, false and true values across a number of different elements. We can then sort and filter to look at these tags in a bit more detail. And here, for example, I can compare the value of visible face true and visible face false. So adds with and without a visible face in the imagery. The data that I'm seeing on screen now doesn't really matter because it's entirely dummy data. It might not make sense. And here is where if we'd set up tags for AB testing, we'd be able to make that comparison. So let's say I had tag test A, tag test B, we'd be able to compare the results for both of those. As ever with Pencil, the best way for you to get familiar with this is to give it a go. So I'd really encourage you to get those ad accounts connected and then come back to the Insights panel and try it all out. In the meanwhile, we've got plenty more help and resources available. Thank you.